Good morning, friends. Happy Saturday. I am just got my car loaded up. I just finished with a wedding and we started super early because they have a very early ceremony time. So I started at, it was about 6.30 when I started and it's 9.10 right now. So I'm all packed up and all finished. And I think I'm gonna head to maybe get like a coffee and go wander around Target because Troy went snowmobiling today and I have a whole lot of free time. I do have a couple stops I need to make, like I need to go to the grocery store, go to Costco, or maybe I can get everything at the grocery store. Um, and then my cousin and her boyfriend are supposed to come over for dinner tonight, and we're gonna make dinner and watch the super cross, super cross race, and I need to clean my house, so all kinds of things on the agenda today, but I think let's start with something to drink something warm because it's kind of chilly it's 29 degrees right now it's cold this is my favorite dressing from chick-fil-a the creamy salsa dressing paired with the Southwest chicken salad. It's so yummy. I want to find a recipe on how to make this at home because I'm obsessed with it. Lunch is completed and I'm going to do a massive Target haul. It's not that massive, but we just like packed it all in basically one bag. So to start, I'll share this with you. Um, we got some new training bites for Huckleberry Finn. So I've already opened them and used them. He seems to like them. Got these super simple little black sandals. The stuff in this bag is kind of boring because I needed some more ranch. And when I don't make homemade ranch, that's my kind that I like. And then for dinner tonight, I needed some sun-dried tomatoes. And I'm glad I was walking by and I saw these because I had remembered that I didn't grab them at the store. And I was like, oh, I need those for dinner tonight. I am going to make homemade pasta and hopefully if it goes well, I will share that with you. I've never done it before, so wish me luck. I picked up three of these clear bins. They were like $6 a piece. Is that right? I'll have to double check, but I got three of them. I'm going to use them in the kitchen in one of the cabinets that I have not finished. I got some little Valentine's Day cupcake tins because I want to make... Um, what am I making? I just drew a blank. I wanna make chocolate chip muffins. So all of this stuff in this is a little bit random, but I have an upcoming baby shower and I'm gonna share the items because they're super cute. So if you watch this before your baby shower, I'm sorry that you're gonna know what partial, what your partial gift is. And then also it's my friend's daughter's birthday. And so I picked up some random little things in here for her. She is at that age where she like loves makeup and nail polish and stuff. So I grabbed her some little face masks and then I got her a little eyeshadow brush. And obviously this is all just for play. So a little wet and wild eyeshadow palette. And then I got her, I thought this was so fun. It's a butterfly garden. I thought that was super adorable. So I hope she likes that. And then I got her her own little lipstick. It's like a little light pink color. And then some fun nail polish. And then for my friend's baby shower, I got her this little hat. I think the detailing on it is so adorable. And then of course some little headbands. And then I picked up this like little black nightgown is what it is. And then I grabbed myself a couple new sports bras. So I'm super weird about sports bras. My favorite ones are from Lululemon and I'm sure many of you can relate. Even though I know my size, I prefer to try them on and we don't have a Lululemon here. So I am going to Texas here in a few weeks. So I'm gonna probably pick some up then, but I just grabbed a couple at Target for now. Just super simple black. At least I can try them on and return them because I hate ordering stuff online and having to send it back. 
it's always just such a bummer because you have to wait a little while to get it and then you have to return it and just all the things like i just ordered this really cute blazer and i knew the size was going to be a little bit big but i didn't know it was going to be that big and it's way too big and so i have to return it so i'm super bummed but and then i just picked up this one i have one super similar to this but i love that style some of the baby clothes items i found i thought this little dress and little long sleeve gray shirt was so adorable so i grabbed that for her and then i thought this was also super adorable how cute is that and it's like a corduroy material and kind of i guess it's kind of like yeah it is corduroy and then the little animals it has a little elephant and zebra on it i thought that was super cute and then this i thought was also very adorable which i think this little hat will be so cute with it or i apologize if you can hear huckleberry finn he's playing on the stairs i thought these little bows would be really cute with it or headband bows and then i picked up two sets of hangers because I have got to I have got to go through my closet and get it like organized and all cleaned up. I also ran to Home Goods and grabbed a couple things. So let me show you what I got for my friend's daughter for her birthday. I got her this really cute little makeup bag to put all her little goodies in. The line at the front was fairly long and so sometimes I get sucked into the stuff they have up there. But I grabbed these glass sealable Tupperware um, containers and it says they're fridge freezer pantry and lunchbox friendly so I grabbed two of those they're like five dollars I needed another calendar for something very specific so I grabbed that I am just waiting now for my aunt to get here she is going to come and pick me up and we are gonna go run to my favorite little kitchen store I got her a gift card for Christmas there and she hasn't been there yet. She's been wanting to go and so she just called and asked if I'd be willing to go with her. And even though I have to make homemade pasta, clean the house, and do five million other things, I said yes, I will go with you. So she is going to come get me. Troy's still snowmobiling and then, which is perfect because I also need to go, there's this little dog store across the street. I need to see if I can return an item from them or get a replacement because somehow his Huck's little harness that we got him, the top of it like broke and I don't know. But if, if not, that's fine. Regardless, I need to replace it because we finally found a harness that fits him so well that he cannot get out of. And then the top of it broke and I was so bummed, but I'm at least going to replace that and then we're gonna go to the kitchen store. I thought while we were up there too, there's a little coffee shop up there that I know she hasn't been to and it's one of my favorites, so I'll probably go in there and do that or back home because i have so much to do i'm going to attempt to make homemade pasta today and i'm so excited so for christmas i got this kitchenaid pasta attachment and i've got two of the attachments out in the back that the recipe sounds pretty easy to make the part i'm more concerned about is getting the devices connected to my kitchenaid properly that i think is going to be challenging so we'll see but I'm going to attempt to make homemade pasta tonight for dinner and I'm gonna bring you along. So here's the attachment to make it thin and to roll it out. I do have to knead it by hand and then roll it with a rolling pin, but after it's done with the rolling pin, then I will send it through that little guy to flatten it. And then I'm going to try the spaghetti style. So this is the attachment. I don't know if you can see in there, but this is the attachment to make spaghetti noodles. So we'll see how I do. things on that about yes it needs to be saran wrap no it doesn't need to be saran wrap so i will let you know on the next time i make it i'll leave it unwrapped and see if there if i can tell a difference if you know if it is or isn't supposed to be wrapped go ahead and leave it down below 
but I don't know 50% say yes wrap and 50% say no don't wrap so we've got I think about 10 minutes left on our timer and then we're gonna put it through the first setting to flatten it out before that we do have to I'll section it into four pieces and kind of roll that out and then put it through to flatten it out and then we'll start cutting it and then we can cook it friends happy sunday it's like 9 30 we just went to breakfast at our most favorite spot and now we're at the gas station we always oh, stopped at the grocery store troy ran in and got some stuff and now i was worried it was gonna fall over <laughs> now we're at the gas station and then <laughs> oh my god what are we gonna do after that we go home and make coffee go home and make oh yeah let's make the um the coffee from italy sure okay my client she's from italy and she just got back well she got back in december um but she troy is a coffee connoisseur uh he loves it um she brought us some coffee from there and i have been dying to try it she said it's super yummy so let's do that when we get home and we'll share it with you guys so this is the coffee that she brought us back from italy so we are gonna try that she says it's so delicious so i'm super excited to try it out good it definitely has a little bit of different um flavor than what Troy's coffee normally tastes like but I did add a little bit of caramel and then some white chocolate as well because that's how he loves his coffee but it is super good so I just finished my workout and I loved it I did three different things I've been using the app Blogatis, and I'll show it to you here I'll put a thing on the screen um i love it i did a back workout it was 10 minutes i did an ab workout was that was 10 minutes and then i finished with a stretching that was 10 minutes and it's so fun it's completely free there are different things that you can go out and pay for but there's so much on there for free so if you're looking for a fun workout app i would definitely check this one out also they have tons of videos on youtube as well i thought this was so cute troy is out washing the truck and huckleberry's out there it's like the first time he's ever been around. Let me zoom in. The first time he's ever been around Troy washing the truck. I thought for sure he would freak out with the pressure washer, but he's doing so good. I'm not really sure where I left off in that last video, but I did want to just kind of, I guess, end it and just say thanks so much for hanging out with me in that video. And I will see you in the next video.